Hi, my name is Dr. Phil Boyle. Let's have a look at our live birth data from 2015. In 2015, 412 couples attended our practice for two or more consultations. Their average female age was 37 and 21% had previously tried in vitro fertilization. Our simple live birth rate was 32%. Our corrected live birth rate with life table analysis was 53.6% and our multiple pregnancy rate was less than 1%. Neofertility treatment is a process over time. Those who quit early have a lower pregnancy rate. If you discontinue after two medical consultations, the pregnancy rate will be lower compared to those who attend for five consultations. The simple pregnancy rate includes those who quit early and underestimates the true effectiveness of treatment. Here's our simple pregnancy rate, including those who've discontinued early, and we have a 32% live birth rate, up to 45% if you're aged under 35, and as low as 10% if you're aged 43. So age really matters. If we compare our data with in vitro fertilization in 2017, the official figures reported by the HFEA in the UK, we compare very favorably. Their overall live birth rate per treatment cycle is 26.4% and we are 32%. And you can see the other distributions according to age on our graph. But our treatment is a process over time. We can apply a statistical correction with life table analysis and look at the outcomes at 12, 18, and 24 months of treatment. At 12 months of treatment, we have an overall live birth rate of 35%. If we apply a statistical correction for those who've discontinued early, assuming their live birth rate would be the same if they continued like the other couples. This continues to rise at 18 months up to 45% and at two years as high as 53%. So twice as high as what you would get for a single round of in vitro fertilization. If we compare this to the expected live birth rate according to the different age groups, neofertility compares very favorably. And this is for a budget of under 5,000 euro, your typical cost for a single round of IVF. But what if you have three IVF cycles? We looked at data published from the New England Journal of Medicine in 2009 to see how our data compares. And it compares very favorably. So a broadly similar live birth rate persisting with treatment in our program compared to three rounds of IVF. The multiple birth rate with IVF is a concern because it's the single biggest risk to the health of patients and their babies. They're six times more likely to be born prematurely, leading to all kinds of long-term health problems. 18.2% of IVF babies are twins. If you take, uh, follow the above calculation, this means almost one in five babies that are at increased risk due to multiple birth through IVF. With neofertility, we're less than 1%. It's safe for babies who mostly go full term with an average birth weight of seven pounds, seven ounces, and the majority are healthy. In addition, repeat pregnancy is much more likely in our program. Women's health improves with less fatigue, period pain, PMS, low mood, and autoimmunity. It's safe for women producing one follicle at a time, so side effects are minimum, and treatment is non-invasive. Couples also report improved communication. So if you're looking for a treatment that is effective and is suitable for those with recurrent miscarriage and low egg reserve, treatment that's affordable with minimal side effects, treatment that will lead to health improvement with a low multiple pregnancy rate, giving healthier babies and a high chance of repeat pregnancy, well, neofertility is well worth consideration, provided you're willing to commit to a process over time. Thanks for listening.